in terms of the process of you know kind of acquiring a professional lacrosse franchise, um, you know, for us, our goal has always been to kind of um, you know offer something for everyone and really kind of grow the game of lacrosse um, you know across various age groups. And so for us, you know, we've developed a pretty strong footprint with you know, younger players kind of up through high school, and this allows people who uh, or maybe a little older, you know, or maybe a little newer to the game to get involved. Um, for us, you know, a lot of our success rides on you know, how big we can grow the game lacrosse in this region, um, and you know, bringing a professional indoor lacrosse franchise you know, to the New England area certainly you know, helps us reach that goal. Um, you know, it's you know, obviously when you're kind of you know younger, you it's something that crosses your mind, especially at Babs, and you know, a place that teaches you to be ambitious. Um, but you know. The, we certainly didn't think you know, professional sports ownership was something that would happen, um, you know, this early on in the process. But you know, it was an opportunity um, that we saw and we jumped on it. And to that point, I mean, it's, it is one of those things that is a current offshoot of our current business anyway. So it was an it, it was a nice way to kind of continue what we were already doing with Prime Time Lacrosse and basically one take one step further. Absolutely. I mean, we're obviously tremendously grateful for the opportunity to, you know, be involved in professional sports at the age we are at. Um, you know, for us, it's really been about the people who have supported us you know, with primetime lacrosse. Um, we've been very fortunate to have you know, a pretty tremendous support network, you know, both with our families as well as the families who participate in primetime lacrosse and kind of drawing on, you know, various people's expertise who have kind of been around you know, the game of lacrosse and professional sports. We've been able to kind of you know, make up for a little bit of what we might not have in age or experience with um, you know people who do. I mean, there are a lot of resources that Babson um, really can offer you. Um, and initially, when we first started the business, um, we were given hatchery space down in uh, at the time it was in Coleman, and then we moved over to the Olin uh, Graduate Building as well. But in addition to that, the uh, plentiful resources of professors and teachers who were able to help us there and just speak with us in any really given time along the way and still to this day um, we're still in contact with those professors coming into class speaking helping out in that sense but overall I mean the competitive atmosphere of Babson I mean, we were at a young age kind of driven to start our own business and um, lacrosse at the time was something the town and I were both very passionate about and still are but we were able to take that passion and roll it into a very small uh, summer camp in the summer of 2007 and the rest is pretty much snowballed from, uh, from there. In terms of being a student athlete at Babson, um, you know, one I think you know our competitive nature is something that's helped us be successful. Um, you know, we a lot of what we do um, is kind of you know competitive in nature, not only in the lacrosse kind of wins and losses aspect of it, um, but you know we are constantly striving to get better, and kind of reach goals we set for ourselves, whether it be the number of you know people in a camp, um, you know people who are coming to games, things like that, and I think. You know, being a collegiate athlete definitely helps prepare for that. Um, Babson uniquely so in the sense that we, you know, you have to juggle a lot of things as a Babson student, you know, never mind being a student athlete. And so that really prepared us, you know, we kind of look around here, we certainly have kind of a number of things going on at once and we have to wear a number of different hats. And I think being a student athlete at a place like that prepared us for that. With our home opener for the Rock Hoppers coming up on Saturday, um, you know, people can expect, you know, a very exciting um, atmosphere, definitely an atmosphere that's probably unlike a lot of, um, you know, kind of professional sports out there in the sense you'll be right on top of the action, you know, the player interaction with the fans kind of before and after the game and really, you know, it's a pretty unique opportunity to, to see lacrosse in a great venue.